All right, hey guys, today I'm bringing you another video. I know it's been a few weeks. I'm just uh, currently trying to ETS out of the army, so I'm super fucking busy. I just haven't had the time to do a lot of this shit. Actually, my room's kind of like in shambles right now. Just like random fucking bags and boxes full of shit because I'm actually moving out in the next few days. But I figured uh, in the meantime, let me get one more video out. And this is kind of a follow-up to my last video about the Mayflower APC, or Velocity Systems. I, they're like the same fucking company, I think. Anyhow, this is a an overview, not so much a review, of the Ferro Concepts FCPC. This is what I replaced my fucking APC with. So, starting starting off, let's go over the fucking features. It's a pretty basic plate carrier. This is uh, I'd say this is probably more suited as a kind of duty use plate carrier. Uh, I wouldn't personally recommend it for a uh, like kind of a slick thing. I mean, you can you can run it like that, but I think this is just better suited as a, as a kind of duty use plate carrier. Uh, on the front here, you can see. Just completely Velcro, no Molly, which is fine. I, I run like placards 99% of the fucking time. This one here is a Shaw Concepts V3. I don't believe he makes these anymore. I think he has like the V4s now, which is like the same fucking thing. Just holds four mags. It's a bit, it's a bit wider. But I like this one. I prefer to run three mags up front. Uh, I've had it for about a year now. It served me really fucking well. Uh, I like it. It's pretty simple. Uh, I'll probably do a, a review on this you know, sometime later, but this is what I'm rocking on the front for now. This is going to stay. This kit right now is not fully built out to the way that I want it. I have a lot of shit coming in the mail. I'm getting some shit for Christmas from, uh, from my folks. So this is not like the end all be all of how I want to set it up. This will change within the next like fucking week or two. But yeah, review on this probably in the future or I won't. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm also, so, another thing with the FCPC as well, uh, when you buy it, it just comes as the play bags by itself. I bought this comic bunch separately. This is also by Faro. It's their 3AC, uh, which I like this a lot. It's got the fucking Tigris shit. It gives it decent support. It's just fucking two rows of molly, and it velcros on. Also, what I didn't know before I bought it was that it's actually elastic. This shit stretches, so that's cool. Makes it, like, super easy to breathe if you're rolling around a whole lot. Um, on the sides here, nothing crazy. I just have two, like, real old Condor mag pouches that I've had for fucking ever, probably before I joined the army. And, uh, in inside I just have, like, these, uh, fucking Kydex inserts so I can just have them, uh, retain the magazines that way instead of bungees. I don't jump out of fucking planes or anything crazy like that, so I'm not worried about, like, bungeeing my shit down too much. On this side, I just have, uh... I've just got some fucking pouch I bought at the PX, nothing crazy. I keep a lot of random shit in here. I keep like a fucking bandana and some iodine for water filtration. I keep my eye pro, uh, a nine line reference card, a fucking a uh, protractor, a spare battery, spare battery for my radio. Kind of just a lot of like little shit like that. This pouch will actually be changing up a little bit. I have a ferro dangler on the way. So all the bullshit from this pouch will be transferred into that dangler. And this is just going to be uh, just for my nods. And then right here, I've also just got a canteen pouch, super old fucking GI one. That's going to be changed out too. I'm just waiting for Spiritus to restock their uh, Nalgene pouches. Because I, I don't have any spare ones lying around right now. And then on the back here, I've got a Haley flat pack. Um, I like this thing a lot, but this will be coming off. Not because anything's wrong with it. I just want to try out some new shit, so I ordered one of Pharaoh's uh, uh, back panels because I figured I've got the zippers, why not give it a shot? But otherwise, as you can see, like it's, there's molly on the back, so if a flat pack or other kind of pack like that is something that you wanted to do, or add like a hydration carrier, the back of this kit does have molly on it, so you don't have to buy, you know, a Pharaoh fucking back panel if you want to add shit to the back. In here, I don't keep a whole lot of crazy shit, usually just a hydration pack. Right now, I am a, I'm a medic in the army. Well, won't be for very much longer, but I just have one of those like North American Rescue uh, quick litters. I bought this personally. It was like 20 fucking bucks. I've been fucking around with keeping that in there. I'm going to try and find another way to store this on my kit. Um, I'll figure something out. And then on the bottom here, you can't really see, but I've got a Feral Roll 1. 
Uh, I actually really like the fucking eye fact. I only got it in gray because I'm impatient as fuck. And, uh, fucking, they only had wolf gray in stock. And I said, fuck it. I don't care. I don't, like, if my kit doesn't match, it's not the end of the fucking world to me. And over here, it's just a bees, uh, combat systems, fucking radio pouch. I have a bay thing in here. Uh, I'm not really a radio guy. I'm trying to learn about it. So right now, I just fucking on the bay thing, trying to learn the ropes a little bit. I wouldn't recommend a Bay of Fang for anything fucking serious. Um, I just like to use it just to kind of familiarize myself with radios. And honestly, sometimes too, you can play fucking local stations on there. So if I'm fucking around in the woods, I'll listen to like whatever country station's playing. Uh, if, any, if any of y'all are wondering what this plastic fucking thing is, it's just a PTT and like volume knob protector. Uh, I actually 3D printed it myself. And the designs are online for free. It's like five cents worth of fucking plastic. But that's pretty much what I got going on with the kit. Um, as far as shit that I added. In the future, I'll be having the, uh, like I said, the dangler, the back panel, and then I have shoulder straps coming. So, now getting on to the actual kit itself. Uh, honestly, it's not, it's not different than a lot of shit in the market. Like, a lot of these play carriers, functionally, they're the fucking same. That said, I do like this a lot so far. Um... The construction seems really fucking sturdy. One thing that I think is really cool is the ease of like donning and doffing it. Uh, I'm personally I'm keeping this Velcro here. I know they make one for the Cobra. Uh, they make like a Cobra buckle adapter. I'm not too interested in using that. Uh, you know, when this is being stored, I just fucking, I just leave like this one open, and then you know slot that shit on. There's also a Cobra, Cobra buckle right here. Makes it super nice to take it off really quick. Uh, throwing it on, I, I just fucking leave this clip though. Actually, I'm gonna leave it open for now. I'll show you all the inside. On the inside, both plate bags are the same. You have this kind of like mesh material here. Helps with the breathing. I don't know how well that helps so far. Um, like I said, I just got this kit. I've only really used it to, to uh, dry fire a little bit and just like I wear it around my fucking room just to um, make sure the shit fits me right. Just make sure it's like. I like the way that it sits on my body. Anyhow, it's a pretty straight, pretty straightforward design. Uh, <clears throat> the kit itself is super fucking light. You know, there's not a whole lot going on with it. Uh, it doesn't come with the swift clips because uh, Faro they make like all their placards with the G hooks. That said, they they have these on the website. So if you want to add a swift clip placard, it was like four fucking dollars extra. Also going on top here, they have a little admin pocket. I don't have much in there right now except the little uh, lens cover and eye pro wipe for my nods. I think I have more eye pro wipes in there and then, a, and then a little fucking pencil. I don't like to keep a whole lot of shit up here because it gets kind of bulky. You can fuck with my mag draw. And then, you know, all my extra shit will just go in here and later on my dangler. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, there's not like a whole lot to this kit. It fucking... It works. It's more or less comfortable. Uh, it's well, like it seems like it's pretty well built design. Inside the kit itself, I'm rocking um, Chase Tactical Level Four plates. I don't remember the exact designation, but uh, they're NIJ certified. That's really what fucking matters to me. And I like to use Level Four plates because I don't want to get ventilated by some fucking boomer with a grant. If I'm in a situation where I feel like I need to wear body armor. And I'm not talking military here, I'm talking like as, as a civilian dude, you know, doing some shit conus, whether, you know, there's been a fucking ecological disaster or goddamn China invades. I'm, I'm worried about wearing this in that kind of context. Because obviously if you're a soldier, first of all, you're going to wear whatever the fuck you're issued. And second of all, you have a very specific list of threats. But what I'm worried about is like, like I said, some fucking boomer with some crazy fucking hunting rifle that'll zip through your fucking special threat place. And I'm not saying those plates are bad. There's a fucking purpose for those. And if that's what you think, they, it fits your purpose, that's cool. Just me personally, I figure if I'm going to be wearing plates, I'm going to wear some fucking level fours. And then right now I don't have any pads behind them. Uh, I have the T-Rex Arms pads coming in, but like I said, they're still coming in. They're getting delivered, like, I think actually tonight. Um, on the sides of the plate bags here, they've got these little fucking Velcro, like, one-wrap type deals for routing comms cables and whatnot through. I haven't needed to use them yet, because as you can see, I have my hand mic running around the shoulder strap. 
Which, once I get my shoulder pads, it'll, it'll be cool because it'll actually cover up this wire here. But, um, overall, yeah, it's like, it's a fucking plate carrier. It, it just works. I, I bought this in a size medium. 99% of you are going to wear a size medium unless you're fucking 10 years old or built like an orc and you wear a fucking large or you're fat as shit and you think you need a large. Um, th this handle, this is, this is not part of the kit. This is part of the flat pack. So these don't come with drag handles on it. Just an FYI. Um, if that's something that you think you need, like I don't need drag handles. This came with fucking shoulder straps. Grab me by that if I can go down. But uh, yeah, it's a sturdy butt plate carrier, as far as I can tell. I haven't put it through its paces yet, but when I will, I'm, you know, there'll be a fucking video about it. But that's not going to be done the line for, uh, for, uh, for another year or so. <clears throat> because obviously, you know, I'm not going to wear this to the fucking range twice and tell you, oh yeah, it's a great fucking plate carrier. Uh, it would stood up fine to me standing there. That said, this plate carrier probably is fucking fine. I know a lot of guys, buddies of mine who have them, they fucking love them. Uh, so far I'm really digging it. It carries exactly what I need and nothing fucking more, nothing less. And since this one's actually properly sized to me, I don't have a bunch of excess shit hanging off. So it's very like fucking streamlined as far as a duty use plate carrier goes. So yeah, um, just fucking expecting, the, oops, expecting the future to see more of that. And then, <clears throat> yeah, fuck it. I guess, you know what? I'll give, a, I'll give a review on this placard sometime soon. I've used this placard quite a bit, actually, both in my own time and on my fucking IOTV. TV. <clears throat> God awful fucking IOTV. TV. But if you guys have any, have any more questions about these plate carriers, uh, go ahead and drop them in the comments below. As far as the price goes, I think they go for like roughly 280 on the Pharaoh website. If that's too much for you, um,. Well, then you probably don't own body armor anyways. And if you're going to be using this play airsoft, I don't know, just don't. If you can't afford it, uh, don't bankrupt yourself over gear. You know, take care of shit first, like your family. <clears throat> but yeah, so far, seems like a cool kit. I'm really excited to get out and fucking use it more. I'm going to have a whole lot more free time now. I'm going to be a, be a civilian in about 10 fucking days. So, yeah, you guys will get an update later on. Let, let me, uh, where I let you know. How it works. Oh, also another thing on the back too. There's more of these fucking Vel uh, not Velcro, um, spandex like elastic shit for comms routing, which you can tell I'm, I'm actually using this one back here. But yeah, like I said, any comments, questions, concerns? If you want to talk shit to me and call me retarded, that's cool too. Just fucking drop in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe, and show all your friends because my videos are super cool and based. 